The Republican nominee for governor in the swing state of Pennsylvania, Doug Mastriano, is under fire for his connection to Gab, a social media site used by white supremacists and anti-Semites, as reported extensively by Rachel Maddow last night. Uh, apparently, there are he posts to Gab, which was also used by the shooter who allegedly killed 11 people at a Pittsburgh synagogue, of course, the Tree of Life synagogue, in 2018. Mastriano also paid $5,000 to Gab in campaign consulting fees, according to federal election reports. That's in addition to being an election denier, of course, and taking part in the January 6th insurrection march, although he insists he never actually entered the Capitol building. Joining me now is Jonathan Greenblatt, CEO of the Anti-Defamation League. Um, Jonathan, I watched this with Rachel Maddow last night, and I've got to tell you, the details were just astounding. Mastriano is the Republican nominee for governor in the state, and there's, uh, last check, a four-point differential in the polling with Josh Shapiro, who's obviously Jewish-American, and he's the elected Democratic Attorney General, incumbent Attorney General. Here's a sample of what the Gab CEO, Andrew Torba, has said. Take a look at this. So, no, we don't want people who are atheists. We don't want people who are Jewish. This is an explicitly Christian movement because this is an explicitly Christian country. And he went on to say that Jewish people will not be expelled from this country. They won't be exiled, but they will have to live in a Christian nationalist country. Um, your reaction to this? Yeah, look, Andrew Torba is one of the most toxic people in public life right now. And the idea that anyone running for elected office would associate themselves with Torba would use Gab as a launching pad and a platform for their politics that in and of itself, Andrea, in normal times, literally would be prohibitive. It is a frightening moment when we are seeing this kind of outright Christian nationalism and undisguised hostility toward Jews and Muslims and other minorities. As you pointed out, and as Rachel talked about on her show last night, elected officials who engage in this kind of rhetoric aren't just flirting with fascism, they are bringing it to the forefront of their political argument. And that's, I think, a terrifying thing for all Americans. And apparently, when you go to the site, it automatically links you to the Mastriano campaign. So he's gaining a lot of followers and supporters uh, by being connected yeah, to I this mean, toxic site. Yeah, these are not the kind of supporters that we think about in any mainstream sort of way. And Mastriano's politics literally teeter on the edge of the kind of extremism that's never been this close to a state house, let alone to any credible elected office. Gab is a cesspool of anti-Semitism and racism. What you find on there is the kind of unvarnished ugliness that's been ushered into the public conversation over the last few years, Angie. We've talked about it on your show before. It should have no place in American politics, because this isn't about right or left. This is right and wrong. And these kinds of ideas that Jews or Hindus or Muslims don't belong in public life, that's just wrong, plain and simple. And Josh Shapiro did respond on Rachel's, Rachel's show last night. Let's watch. This is who Doug Mastriano is. He is so dangerous. This site, this Gab site, is a haven for white supremacy. And yet this is where Doug Mastriano believes he needs to go for support. This is not normal. And the question is, Jonathan, is it becoming normalized in this country to have this kind of white supremacism and anti-Semitism as part of official discourse, as part of the Republican campaign? Josh is right. I mean, no one knows this better than he, when a state attorney general, dealt with the aftermath of the massacre in Pittsburgh. And it is becoming more normal. But let's be clear, this is abnormal by any measure, Andrea. It's un-American. The idea that Christian nationalism is a thing, Marjorie Taylor Greene can talk about it, and others might choose to, but Andrea, this has been promoted by Nazi sympathizers for decades and decades. We've been fighting it in this country before any of us were born, and we will continue to fight against this exclusionary 
an extremist ideology that has no place in our discourse. Well, our thanks to you, Jonathan, and our thanks to Rachel Maddow, because uh, I was not aware of it, and I've been covering this campaign, yeah. and it's a little bit under the radar, but not any longer. Thank you for giving thanks. it attention, too.